or 90 degrees, right? So in this case, they want us to rotate this triangle 90 degrees. To do that, the first thing we need to do is obviously plot our points. So j is going to be 2, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's j. Make sure you label your points. k is 5, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. And L is 7, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. OK? So it says to rotate, count, uh, rotate 90 degrees. Now again, Damon, the thing that it said is it did not specify which direction or about what point. So we can assume unless directed to rotate counterclockwise and about the origin. Now remember, when we're rotating 90 degrees, Counterclockwise, if we have coordinate points x, y, to rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise, all we're going to do is now swap our variables and negate the first coordinate. So now I can do that for each one. So I can say j prime. All I'm going to do is swap the 6 and the 2 and now make the 6 negative. For k prime, I swap the 5 and the 2, and I make the 2 negative. And for l prime, I swap the 5 and the 7, and I make the 5 prime. All right? What that allows me to do is take this and rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. So now we can just plot these points. So I have negative 6, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2. That's now j prime. I have negative 2, 5, negative 2, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is k prime. And then I have negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which is l prime. And there you go. That's a rotation 90 degrees. Okay, You guys are going to want to make sure you have that and those rotations um, known.